today's story is More Caps for Sale. It's by Esther Slobodkina, and the pictures are by Anne Marie Mulhern Sayer. More Caps for Sale Another Tale of Mischievous Monkeys by Esther Slobodkina with Anne Marie Mulhern Sayer. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. While the peddler traveled home that day, he thought about the bunch of monkeys who had taken his caps. It took so long to get them back, he hadn't sold any caps, not even a red cap. As he walked along, he did not look back. He did not see the monkeys come down from the tree. He did not see them following him. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, all in step. When the peddler got home, he was very hungry, but he could not eat. He was worried. He had not sold any caps. Then he looked out the window. And what do you think he saw? There in the tree behind his house sat the monkeys eating their supper. Suddenly the peddler was hungry too. He reached for his bowl and ate every drop. After the peddler cleaned his plate, he went out and looked at the monkeys. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You must go home. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Then each monkey dropped a banana skin down to the ground. The peddler was so upset he could not speak. He picked up a banana peel, walked to the trash barrel and threw it away. He went in the house, slamming the door. He did not see each monkey come down from the tree, pick up a banana peel, and throw it in the trash barrel too. All oh, those monkeys, the peddler thought. They have followed me home, made a mess of my yard, and today I have sold no caps. He walked up and down the hall, he walked so much that it was soon time for bed. But the peddler could not fall asleep. He turned on his right side. No sleep. He lay on his back. No sleep. Then he looked out the window into the tree and what do you think he saw? On every branch lay a monkey falling asleep so peacefully that the peddler began to feel tired too. So he went to sleep. When the peddler woke up, he was refreshed and rested. He jumped out of bed and began to dress. He ate his breakfast and was ready to go to work. First, he put on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He forgot all about the monkeys. As he walked along, he did not look back. 
He did not see the monkeys come down from the tree. He did not see them following him. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, all in step. The town was busy. Some people were going to work. Some people were walking their dogs. Some people were shopping. Everyone passed by the peddler. They watched him point to the top of his head and call, Cops! Cops for sale! Fifty cents a cop! Then they watched the line of monkeys behind him point to their heads. As the peddler sold a cap, he bowed to say, thank you. When the peddler bowed, the monkeys bowed too. Everyone was smiling to see such a sight. One by one, the townspeople began to buy the caps. By the afternoon, the peddler had sold all his caps. When he got to the end of the town, the peddler turned to walk home. And what do you think he saw? All the monkeys lined up in a row. You monkeys, you, the peddler said, shaking his finger at them. You must go home. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. The peddler gave up. He was too tired to argue with the monkeys. Besides, he was very happy. Today he had sold all his caps, the gray, the brown, the blue, and the red. He slowly walked home, remembering the day. He did not see the monkeys walking behind him. A right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, all in step. This, this little monkey, it says, the end. <laughs>